I'll now demonstrate using the Skyray EDX3 to test an alloy sample. Firstly, we need to insert the battery. Note that the PDA also needs to be charged up occasionally, so if you're using it over a day, the battery in this does last around a day. Now we need, having inserted the battery, now need to turn the instrument on. Green light. And we turn the PDA on. Push that button here. You feel it shake. And now boot. The two test samples we're going to uh, just check out are the, um, the metal type of this cover on the um, little memory stick and the uh, type of metal used in this, um, this piece here. We select the um, metals and alloys program. Just loading takes around 30 seconds to load first time. We're going to do a match, so I need to select the system here, specification analysis. Scroll down, check this box here. All right, so both check there and the uh, stainless there. Now. If we haven't done it for a while, we'll need to initialize. So I'll show you how to initialize. When we hit the initialize button, we have to close the window here. Window's closed. OK. Now the instrument will initialize. It's testing the uh, silver. Initialization is complete and we're going to return to the main menu. Click on here. Now I'll open this window because it's ready for testing. Set to match, we've set the system. Now I need to test this sample here. I'll put this on the uh, bench here. I'm going to hit the test button. Now point this at the sample. You can see it counting down. You can hear the bell for the complete. There's the results. And it says here that it's 316 stainless. Now I'll test the, my other test piece here, point it at it from a fairly close distance, pull the trigger, test light comes on, test is counting down. Test is completed, release the trigger. Right, this is 310 stainless, this is match to. To turn the instrument off when you're completed, simply hold this button in here and hold that button in there. When you hold this in, it requests, yeah, do you really want to turn it off? Yes. And this button here, push it in. Now, finish the test. Very simple to use.